Hi everyone, it's Jan with What You Make It, and I am back actually to tape this for the third time. And the thing that I'm kind of chuckling about is that my original inspiration for this little card right here was that I had a whole package of these Jenny Bolin vellum butterflies, and I really love them, and I've been hoarding them, and I thought it was time that I used them, and my second inspiration was I wanted to do a color challenge for myself, maybe a combination of colors that I don't normally work with, and so because these were kind of a yellowish gold, I went to my ink pads, and I came up with a color combination in the paper tray ink color families of Harvest Gold, Hawaiian Shores, Aqua Mist, and Dark Chocolate. Now because this is the third time that I've made it, I have, I have been taping this, I clearly have gotten past the hoarding of the butterflies. So we'll, we will chalk that one up and say, yay me, I can go get something else, right? The other thing was that I had this Maya Road stamp of butterflies that I thought would be fun to use. And then to kind of fill in, I pulled out a paper tray ink stamp set that is called Life um, and Larger Than Life. And it comes with dies and it doesn't come with them. You can purchase them separately. But I love all the little wispy things. And I may use a little bit different stamp than I did on these other ones just so that we can see what the difference is. But it's a fun little card to, to tuck in with something. So let me show you what I did. To start with a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch square, and I've rounded the quarters with my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. I like doing that before I, I start stamping because it gives me an idea of, of what I will the area that I'll be working with. And I'm going to start with my lightest color, which is going to be this Harvest Gold color. And I'm going to start with the big solid butterfly because that will help me keep my placement of where the vellum butterfly is going to end up. Now, if you don't have a vellum, any of these Jenny Bolin vellum butterflies, you know what, you could stamp your butterfly on some vellum and cut it out and, and make your own. I think that's, you know, we, we want to use what we have in our stash, don't we? That is a, always a good thing. Then we don't feel bad about, about going and getting some other things, right? So, actually, I'm kind of glad that this project ended up taking a few more times to get it completed. Now I'm also working with the principle of threes. I'm gonna, this is going to be the focal image up here, this butterfly, it's gonna be stacked, but if you view the card from the side, you'll see the butterfly, but I wanna make sure that I have three of these yellow gold colored elements smaller because I don't want them to detract from the large butterfly as we end up here. But now I'm going to start adding the colors. Now I think that this aqua and Hawaiian shores combination ends up really as a very pretty complement to the yellow. Honestly, I just am liking that it challenged me to get outside of my what I just normally reach for when I'm doing color combos. If there's something that that is that way for you, if you tend to use particular color combinations, try something that that maybe challenges you just a little bit. Now I have I'm just taking various stamps from this stamp set. You've got a solid large, you've got a word overlay, and you've got an outline, really for each, for the large and the small butterfly. The only large butterfly I'm going to use is the one that is the, 
that is the the gold color because I want it to stand out. I'm going to use the darker ink. Aqua Mist is the lighter color and this Hawaiian Shores is darker and I'm, I'm creating a little bit different configuration than I did on the others. On this card you can see that I did let me come up here where you can see nice nicely I used the stamp overlay of that says free on it so this time I'm going to not use that I'm just going to outline the butterflies and I'm just going to give a put a little little touch of these other butterflies down in okay when you finish stamping just take a minute and make sure that you feel like you've got some some good composition going on here I know I'm going to have a very strong element over here I know I'm going to have a strong element here with the the start of the sentiment that says life so I want to kind of fill in here with some of the chocolate color color that kind of brings all of it together and I used last time I used this kind of wispy design I'm going to this time I'm going to use I think this this one just just to do something a little different we have both designs available to us and I'm going to take a piece of scratch paper here because I do not want to stamp this chocolate at full strength. I want to actually stamp off. It's a te technique that gives you a little bit more of a shadow of the stamp. So we stamp, stamp once and then we're going to come in here and do something tall up like that. Another one, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And this set comes, there's two, there's life and then there's larger than life. And they were, I think they're really well designed because they have larger images. But if you'll notice, let me stamp this one next to this. Can you see that? This one is a mirror image. It's smaller, but it's also a mirror image so that kind of like in nature, you would have things that kind of bent and faced each other. You have that same ability here with these little Okay, let's get it out of the way so that I don't keep hitting it. I'm going to come in here. And I think I need one more just down in here filling, filling that in. I like that. So for the sentiment, I'm going to put this life right up here and then on the inside of the card I'm going to use the sentiment that says if you're having trouble getting a sentiment straight just drop it down onto your paper let it naturally straighten itself out then put your acrylic block on it and then on the inside down here I'm going to stamp this sentiment is so much better with you in it that would be a nice little note won't it so let's fold this up Guys, I am going to have to clean my desk. It is an absolute wreck. I have some projects for our fall project series that I want to get 
back to doing, but I am I am clearly going to have to clean up the desk a little bit before we can do that. I'm going to use the quarter inch rounder, go all the way around there, and I am going to just take my little dauber and go around the edge here. I think that'll help it pop off of Off of that craft card stock. Put this down. And let's grab another one of our little butterflies here. And we need to put a little glue here. It, these come with a little adhesive foam dot already on them. They are, and some pearls down the center. So if you were making your own, just stamp, stamp your butterfly, and maybe add some pearls down the center, and you'll have a really fun little card to give away to a friend, brighten their day. I hope you all are having fun. I appreciate you hanging in there with this World Card Making Day series know that we are still doing the the giveaway if you have a card that you make because of one of the designs you were inspired by one of the designs that I've or techniques that I've shared with you please share it with me either through a link or send me an email or something do a response video and I'll put you in the drawing and it's gonna be fun I we're gonna do it on the 15th so I hope you will participate. In the meantime, I hope you're having fun and taking some time for creative play. I'll see you soon.